<laughs> hey guys, Doug here again with another video on a very wet and windy day. So we're in the workshop today, half time, and then we're moving up to the carving room. But we're going to do something a little different today. But uh, remember I showed you this little, uh, little ducky car I made from the Sarah Bear Club plan from Wood Carving Illustrated. Well, the other day, my wife dragged me into uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, I picked up another little little bag of wheels and I thought, uh, what can I make? When it came to me last night, I used my very last piece of uh, beaver wood that I happened upon in the beaver house and I carved up this guy. So he is my very last guy, or last piece of wood, and I thought, wouldn't that be, it would have been cool to have made a little beaver car with a beaver stick. But again, I have no more beaver sticks, but we can simulate a beaver stick and make a little beaver car. So that's the plan today, to make ourselves a little beaver car. So I've got a couple little sticks here. I think I'll go, this one's basswood, this one's cedar. And uh, the plan, in my mind at least, is uh, I'm gonna flatten the bottom, drill a hole in the top, and then uh, add the wheels and chamfer her chew off the ends to make it look but like before a Before we do that, it should be noted that this video is brought to you by our friends at Wood Carving Illustrated Magazine. Woodcarvingillustrated.com is a magazine for woodcarvers full of tips and tricks and plans and tools and you name it. It's in the magazine. Great magazine. Real help. Real boost for uh, beginner carvers and old carvers alike. It's, uh, it's great. It's a great magazine. Just uh, even for inspiration, uh, I love it. I've, I've probably got 20 years worth of uh, back issues and whatnot, and uh, I continually go back and look at it. So anyway, they've given me a little promo code, LINKER, all caps, for you when you subscribe at woodcarvingillustrated.com. And uh, by using that promo code, they'll give you some little freebies, some little extra downloads and plans to, uh, to accompany your subscription. So uh, yeah, check them out and uh, let's make a beaver car. All right, that's what we got. Flat bottom, hole drilled, and uh, I got my wheels kind of marked. It's gonna be kind of a little coupe looking car, but uh, I'm using these little dowel pins for my wheels, and uh, I'm gonna drill the holes before we go up to the carving room. And uh, I just wanna point out that uh, you can use a dowel straight through, straight through axle. My grandson and I made a couple of these a couple of years back and had races. So that works just fine. I just like these little pins. They give a little extra bulk to the to the wheel itself. And uh, yeah, but the point of my whole story here is that uh, I'm still going to drill straight through the whole thing just so that they're exactly, there's no room for mistake. It's still going to be the exact same hole on both sides so that you don't get a little wobble, wobble in your car. I want them straight through. So that's what we're going to do. And that's our start. Up to the carving room. I always forget about that clogger's knife. I was gonna use an ax to start with. And I said, hey, I got that clogger's knife. So that took off the meat pretty good. Oh, a little coop looking car. That's kind of fun. I'm very happy that the uh, the bark is stuck really nice to this piece of wood too. So I was afraid the cedar, if I had used the cedar, it might come off. So, all right. Good enough. All right, just add wheels. I'm gonna hold them back like so, just so that they got lots of, lots of free room to spin. All right. Just like so. <laughs> now 
Now, what I didn't explain very well was that I'm going to carve a beaver sitting in here holding the steering wheel, but also I'm going to add a tail to the beaver after. All right, so that's the uh, that's the plan, and uh, we'll probably do some high speed in this because, honest to goodness, I don't really know how I'm going to do it just yet, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Yourself. It's another thing to film yourself while you're trying to figure out what you're making because I've never made this before but uh, anyway That's where we are. I kind of like that. He looks like he's squished into his car I like that. He's hunched over his steering wheel like that so uh, anyway, what we need now is the uh, The beaver tail we need a big beaver tail coming out the uh, the back side here So I'll probably have to notch it in is what I'm guessing but uh, I'm going to play around with that to find a shape before I even film again because I'm not sure how it's going to go. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be kind of fun. <laughs> This is what we came up with. We, meaning me. A little beaver tail here. Notched it in the back here. And uh, I'm 
you know, something like that. It's a big tail. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted to make it goofy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to go paint this guy up, and uh, yeah, and I'll bring him back all finished up. Let's see what we look like and get them fastened right in there. I'll probably put a screw up through the bottom. But yeah. <laughs> so silly and so fun still. But time for the grand reveal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I freaking love this. I'm not afraid to say it. So silly and fun. So what I did, I got one screw in the bottom hold them in tight got the tail fastened to the beaver notched into the the undercarriage there <laughs> but uh yeah Whee! Whee! <laughs> we got the duck let's have races there he is Well, there you go. I am tickled pink and uh, what a fun, fun little project. Like I said, just an idea in my head this morning. That's why it's not a tutorial. I, I actually, I worked through it and made changes as I went and tried to figure it out. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with it and a uh, real fun project. So there you go. Uh, big thanks to Wood Carving Illustrated once again for uh, sponsoring this video. Check them out, woodcarvingillustrated.com. Use that promo code promo code all caps linker and uh, get your little free little goodies with your subscription and that is it for now also a big thanks to anybody who hit that tip jar this week always appreciated never expect it but uh i will see you on the next video and i don't have a clue what that'll be because i didn't have a clue what this one would be <laughs> bye guys see ya